Hey guys, it's me, Justin Miller here, and welcome to part 15, 14, 15, I lost count. I haven't looked up my playthrough, so I would assume it's 15, part 15 of my playthrough of Super Paper Mario. Let's get back in the game, huh? And we got a mini meeting again. We know what that means. Doing this. Uh, let me get the camera ready here. Okay, and it starts off with the stage of speaking, so I'm gonna be doing this. Here we go. Yeah, so guys, huddle up, okay? We're just gonna have a quick new mini orientation. His name is Mr. L, and he comes to us from our key, from one of our key competitors. Yeah, and he reminds me of Luigi. Hmm, can't say I'm impressed by the minion quality. No, indeed. No wonder you've been trounced up to now. You're like a junior. You're like a how you say a junior minions. Junior, come here and introduce your two fist junior and the sweet pal Sloppy. Gosh, Mr. Alpha, didn't he get pretty spanked too? So maybe you're the junior. Yeah. <laughs> how about? Well, I wouldn't call Mr. L Junior. Actually, he's actually a pretty cool guy. Bang the, you say? Oh, ho, ho, I was scouting him, dear. He will be mine next time. Yes, he shall know the fury of the one and only Mr. L, aka the Green Thunder. But enough about me. I need to head to the repair bay for the robot modifications. And later. It's a nice outro he's got. He should get a YouTube channel. No, seriously, he should. It's totally free. Though the man in red shall wield formidable powers, one shall stand against him. The man in green shall use the Chaos Heart's power to bring darkness to all. <laughs> so it is written in the Dark Prognosticus. So, what you're saying is... The man in green is our minion in training, Mr. L. What? This makes about as much sense as a beef and broccoli sandwich! I actually think that sounds delicious. Each green, say, let's say, right? Oh, calm yourself, old chunks. Make ready. Count Black is sending you a new mission. A new mission. Oh, now that makes sense. It'll be me on account. I will Chunks swear to you. They was gonna hot date me feet. Chunks away. Chunks away indeed. My, aren't we hot blooded? Well, well. I suppose that's to be admired. Let me fix the camera position again. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got to be on my way as well. Ciao. So poor little Mimi doesn't get to be on the fun that stinks. Huh. Well, he could have always come along, right? <sighs> yeah, I hate to seem like a whistleblower here, but old Chugs may not. Actually, even the bed chill, Mimi and Mr. L may not be up to this. That hero is going to collect the pure hearts to come here. He'll come for you. <laughs> All's according to plan, Count Black assures you. And what's going on with that? Mm. Strange. Nobody ever, um, cherished the universe the way you once did. And yet, he need to destroy it. That's quite enough, Nastasia. If I could, um, I... You'd what? If only I could have, you know, bit that girl, things would have been different. She cannot be replaced. You can never hope to do so, Nastasia. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very sorry. That just slipped out. To be sure, she's gone. Gone from all worlds. 
never to return. And who is this girl you speak of? But we got another... Yeah. Yeah. What? What are you thinking? There's no possible way. No one would allow it. I, I don't know which of them is speaking. Whether it's a boy or a girl, I don't know. We can't be happy here. We must leave for a place that will accept our love. But, Lumiere, is there such a place? Think. I can't bear to see you hurt again. If our love has no home, let's spend our lives searching together. So I beg of you again. Tip Bonnie, marry me. I promise I will make you happy. You just won't give up, will you? Of all the crazy, stubborn, foolish men. Tabani, answer me, please. Lumiere, I love you. Take me away. Take me to where we can be happy. Aww. Da, 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 da. Okay. Now we got five pure hearts. This is turning into quite a collection. I couldn't agree more, Tippy. Oh, what I tell you, huh? You got the king of all evilness on your side. You can't go wrong. Yes, yes, D. <laughs> that said, we owe Squirts for helping us find this one. We should be grateful. Say, Tippy, something seems different about you recently. You seem a little more cheerful. It's a nice change. You think so? Well, ever since you saved me from Port Francis, I've been feeling really good. I feel like I could just hang around with Mario forever. Guess fall in love or something. So you're all back. And there you are, Merlin. How was it this time then? Did you find another pure heart in outer space? Yes, we found pure heart number five. And this what? What the? I don't like the looks of this. Okay, it took that long for you to get surprised. What? What? Exactly. Tippy. What has happened? All of you, come to my house at once. Hurry now. Yeah, let's let's go. Come on. Very well. Let's all take a breath and gather ourselves here. I'm concerned. Tippy may be unable to maintain a pixel form for much longer. A pixel form? What the heck does that mean? Well, you see, Tippy was not always a pixel. I found her in her true form. Exhausted. Cursed to wander through dimensions forever. So she was once a human. I wonder what she looked like. Sorry. She was hanging by a thread, barely alive. So I took a desperate measure. Using my ancestor's magic, I transformed her soul to a pixel when this Tippy was born. I can hardly believe it. So where's Tippy from originally then? She had lost her memory, so I had no idea who she is or where she is from. But I can't help thinking she did not come here by chance. Fate connects us. My intuition is in this area is rarely mistaken. Oh, <laughs> there he goes with his arms again, doing a 360 with them. The void has grown larger, and these tremors become calm and unafraid. The end of the world is nearing. Time is running out. And after this, our situation grows more dire by the moment. Will the events written by Parnosticus really forestall the foretold doom? I will watch over Tippy. Young heroes, take the pure heart and find the next heart pillar. Well, let, let's get out of here and get that thing. Alright. So what we need to do is go down to the upper floor. And that is one huge void. Just saying it right now. We're all going to be consumed by a black hole sooner or later. So... There's a crack in the wall, I don't know if you can see it very well. But we need to go this way. Huh. And, hmm. What do we have here? 
Bleep. I summon you. Oh, and there was also a sign somewhere over here. Eight blocks each color once. That's actually a code you need to remember before going here. You'll see why. And you'll thank me later. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. What was that strange window? The heck? I sent her through this thing and suddenly we're a bit darker now. Okay, the void's there again, but where the heck are we? Do I have anything to heal myself? I'm really worried about my HP right now. I do not. But maybe I could buy something real quick. Yeah, you know what? I am gonna buy something. You know what, yo, I, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really go for all the shop spiel with you because it's not really that important. Basically, you buy something, you earn a shop point, when you have enough shop points, you get something. Something good. But yeah, I brought one of these, um, Ultra Shroom Shakes to, so I could recover all my HP. This is for store 50 HP, by the way. I welcome you. You know what? Since this guy's different, I'm probably gonna do a more normal voice for him. I knew you would come by eventually. Oh, I could see that you would like to ask me where in the world we are. Oh, this place may seem like Flipside, but no, do not be mistaken. You weren't Flipside, but then you flip flop sides. Friends, you weren't Flopside. Which means I'm not the Merlon you know. I am a flop side version, a different Merlon entirely. You may call me Nalrem. Nalrem. Rolls right off the tongue, I guess. Don't you see? Ours has always been a story of two towns. But the only ones who know about this flip flop are Merlon and I. You seem a bit surprised. Oh, <laughs> there's a front and back to all things, young ones. I agree, there's a back to my body. Eh, what the? Oh. Now the heart pillar is one floor up. Go and place the pure heart within it. See you. Bye, Nolrem. Whatever the name is. Alright. So, this is basically where the, the location of the opposite of the location where the first heart pillar was. It's right here. And there we go. Heart pillar number five. Probably last time I'm going to be doing out my hand thing. Whatever. Light blue. Alright. You appear to be performing your duties efficiently. I just got a message from Merlon. Tippy's been revived. They are waiting for you on the top of Flipside Tower. Hurry, you must go there. So, I'm not going to use the return pipe this time because there's something I gotta get done. Because you don't want to have to hike all the way back to Flopside once you get another pair of heart, right? And that's why they came up with this idea. This idea. I'm surprised you were finding me. I am called Welderberg. I am the Iron Man of the Forging of Pipes. Have you ever heard? Thought, ah, oh, it has taken so long to get around town. Yeah, me too. 
and this is my life's work to make pipes for the transportation. I'm inspected here, yeah? I'm thinking I can make the pipe lean the flip side. Let me think of this, you are covering cost of materials and labor, yeah? I can make such a pipe. You're not looking very rich. 300 coins. Yeah, we'll pay 300 coins. It's worth it. Alright. Oh, I guess he is the jackhammer. Okay. But, it's useful. Okay. But I, but from here on in, I will be using a return pipe, so why well, don't we use it right now? Let's go back to the tower, huh? The void grows ever bigger, haunting our skies. You're back. I'm feeling better now. Let's get going. Are you sure you feel well enough, my dear? I'll be fine. There's no time to stay in bed anyway. And I... I want to be near Mario. Aww. That's sweet. But I will not hold you back. These good people surely need your knowledge. Here, please take good care of Tippy. Alright. And let's go. Where will this lead us? But why I stop using this camera soon? Still worry about Tippy's condition. Mario and friends open the fifth door. They still needed to find three pure hearts. But the imminent destruction of the world was approaching at an alarming pace. Will Mario have enough time to save the day? And what foul trick will Count Black and his goons come up with next? This adventure grew more dangerous and more thrilling. Or is that it's thrilling because it's a thrilling! Okay, enough Michael Jackson references. Chapter 5 1 Downtown of Crag. I don't know if you can read it, but. Let's go! Ooh, tribal! Oh, oh, there we go. Oh my, where are we? Huh. Well, you're like a million feet above the ground. Doesn't that worry a bit? Quite a nice view from here, Midair. But I can't yet see the pure heart. Wait. Midair? <laughs> yep. Midair. Oh dear. Oh, Kraka, oh, oh, Kraka, you dang it, you, bra, big rock who watches, Kranons, just little rocks, Kranons need help, you hook Kranons up, bra, or Kranons go crunch and there'll be no more Kranons, enough, all oh, Kranons coming, no way, must crag on, save us Kranons, bra, Crowley, Crowley, crow, what are we gonna do, go, oh, Crag, what a Crag, Wedding crag are you craggers? Blame. Okay. Are you alright? Whoa, Scorn! You see person drop out of the sky, bro! Yeah, just boy. Thought I was losing my crag, bro. Person shaped weird, huh? Wait, you think maybe person sent down to help by Big Rock who watches? You mean your god of some sort or whatever? With your face, bro? But, oh. Thought that big rock who watches would send someone cooler. Hey, Mario's cool! He's been stomping a big turtle for like how many years? That's your crack, brah. Do not doubt power of big rock who watches. Void well cracked, brah. And why are you saying crack and brah so much? Uh, I'm, I'm getting worried about this game. You stopped at this instant. Servants of Big Rock who watches, 
You big boulders. We just gravel bits. Where in the world are we? Where are you? Things. This is Land of Crackdowns. Me crying on him crying on this Land of Crackdowns. It's not rocket science, bra. Anyway, big rock. Bra here is Marvold, chief of all Kragnons. Kragnons? What? All great servants of Big Rock who watches. Kragnons have a trouble down here. Serious, bad, big, big danger. One day, three people, plant people came. No, Kragnon called named them four sapiens. They kidnapped many Kragnons. We were peaceful bras. They give peace no chance. Rescue team of Kragnons, no need to be rescued. We at the end of our crag. How do we save Kragnons? No ideas cut the marbled. And we keep losing Kragnons. This bad bros. Kragnons must work this out or Kragnons go ex extinct, bro. Bummer, bro. So weak, bro. Prove four sapiens. You said kidnap buds. You are Kranons up. Yeah, it's your thing, brah. You're not cracking my chain! Kranons owe you big time, bros. You rock, serious. You're serious, no cracking. Big rock who wants to send to your Kranons for sure. T -t -t Terrible, brah! Finn Crocus return! What? Village Kranons kidnapped! Please, Kranons need hooking up, bra. Stop calling me Bra, my name's Mario. It's a big rock who watches. You heard that right kind, bros? Please. Yeah, help. You look up Granite right Soga, please. Well, I don't have a choice here. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh. Hey, check it out, man. I haven't seen that one before, have we? Yeah, for sure. This must be some sort of a rare breed or something, right? Yeah, a rare breed. Totally. Sweet timing, too. We need a pure art polisher. Score! What the? Mario, he's not a creature seen to know about the pure heart. Our super mighty leader, Kate Krogus, we stoked to have a rare breed. Let's tenderize it a bit and tote it back, dude. Oh, kill me? Not on my watch. It's a forest sapien. These flowery followers of King Krogus live underground. That's strange for a flower. Unless you're flowy. Flowy to flower. Okay. That's enough Undertale references for now. HP is 12 and attack is 3. They can throw your head at enemies. Their stems will keep moving without a head, so watch out for that. No one knows if they think their heads or bodies are very mysterious species. Eh, probably both? Ugh. Alright. Seems as though the leader of these uncalled things has a pure heart. Let's try to find him. Help! More sapiens are taking more villagers! Yeah, and you know, speaking of Undertale, I was actually thinking of getting that game. But I wouldn't, and doing a let's play on it, only I wouldn't be playing the game. I was actually thinking of having my mom play the game, because, hey, parents playing the video game, right? I mean, Yimash did it with his mom, so. Shop. Stupid floral sapiens! You're no good! <laughs> okay, I guess we can't shop. Let's go. Alright. Let's go. Oh, oh, whoa! They're fleeing! I wonder where they're headed. Must follow them. Well, let's go to the right first. And we got a new enemy here. Disgusting weed is a putrid piranha. It sp spits out poison and sludge at you. HP is a 5 and attack is 2. If you are poisoned, you will lose HP very quickly. Thankfully, most items that restore HP also cure poison. So let's say the pollution turn them into poisonous weeds. And what about this golden rock here? A moon cleft, a rock-hard monster that's covered in spikes. HP is 2, attack is 
Uh, HP is 5 attacks, 2 in defense is 2. Flames won't scorch the foe. It might look like it's still at first, but it will move when you get close. Stop an explosion near to flip it over, now it'll be vulnerable. So I'm gonna take Carrie out because it's it's actually kind of easier with her. You know, you can knock out spiked enemies more easily with her. And this thing, a Grey Cursia, also known as a Bat Cursia. It's a vile monster that curses everything it touches. HP is one, attack is one, it will send you back to where you came from. In our case, one touch and will be sent straight back to flip side. I don't like the looks of that guy, then. Let's take him out quick. And what we got down here? Oh, another new enemy. It looks like a slurp, but it's called a slurp. It's a very tough skin. It will eat anything. HP is <coughs> Attack is 3 and defense is <coughs> And one attack will work. It is weaker on the inside and the outside, but it will still take some effort. Yeah. Bombs? You want it? Well, it's yours, my friend. So yeah, you need to give it two bombs rather than one bomb? Okay, that's enough more shoe references. <sighs> Seriously. Yeah, I gotta stop doing that every time I say bomb. or anything in here. And I just figured because there'll be a room with some kind of treasure in there, I figured there might be more to the room or something. Heh. <laughs> Boom! We got Kill Mango. Let's restore some HP, shall we? Because why the heck not? And we got a happy flower! Coinies! I got your coins! I am rich again! Well, I mean, I, I guess I'm kind of still rich. I have, like... Well... 381 coins right now. There's no more coming. And we got the Moon Cleft card. <laughs> this could be actually kind of useful. We need Peach to get across this gap here. So, here we go. A row of three blocks that look like they've already been hit. Normally, it would go back to, and talk to a Kragnon to figure out this puzzle, but I already have the puzzles written down. For this one, it's just... Left, right, middle. Easy. And we got... We got a... Uh, loads of enemies coming up. Dear, do you see them over there? Yes, I saw them. Clearly. That gigantic creature right there. It's called a muff. They roam the gra... Uh, they, they roam the grassy plains of crag. HP is 100... And attack is five. They can trample nearly everything. They also have a lot of HP, so they aren't easy to take down. Many Kragnons have risked five months to prove their bravery. Okay. I'm taking them down loads of times because. Having the points will be nice. So many points. Gotta level up, right? Now there's like a load of muffs. It's a muff stampede, practically.
Yeah. And I leveled up from this thing. My attack has one up by one. So that's nice. I know this is getting kind of boring seeing me stomp the enemies again and again. But hey, gotta go. Gotta get up there, right? More power, right? Maximum power. Alright, is that it? Is that everything? Oh, one more. Yeah, forget it. I'm just gonna use Bowser for this guy. Alright. And this is a much bigger puzzle right here. So, I have written down the sequence. So, the sequence is, uh, for those blocks right here is... Middle. Right. Left. Left. Right. Middle. Okay. Right. Left. Right. Right. Middle. Right. Right. Left. Middle, middle, left, 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 right, left, 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 middle, middle. Ah, hang on, I, I don't think it counted some of my hits. I hate what is that. There. I don't need this paper again. Alright. And our episode is about to come to a close pretty quick. You know what? I need to go faster than this, so. Let's just bring Mario into the mix. And that, folks. It's the end of chapter 5-1. So. I'm now at time for this episode. Obviously, it's usually one or two um, um, levels. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. It would help me out a lot. If you if you want to see more because you liked it so much, you, you just can't get enough of me. Maybe my sister voice. Okay, I'm going too far. But subscribe for more if you want to see more. Also, comment down below if you want to talk about something, give me some feedback, or just have something funny to say or anything like that. Because I, I can be social with you guys. I like being social. So, with that, stay cool, everyone.